Well, hello there. Shirley Rocks here. Welcome to Automation Empire. I've seen people playing this. I thought it looked pretty cool, looked pretty confusing. So I thought, what a better way for me to play it than to play it on my channel and have you all laugh at my conveyor belts not working. So this is by a developer with possibly the best name, Dog Hoggler. Um, I don't know what that is, but yeah, that's <laughs> that's a name and a half. So this is like Factorio, but 3D, I guess you could say, and it's good, but it's cruel. It's a cruel mistress. So there's literally no tutorial for it. And these are where I can get to choose at the start. So these are all the different valleys. There's all different um, environments. So we've got a snow forest here. Resources are heavily clustered. We've got um, oh, we've got different goals as well. A lot of the goals seem to be the same. I guess this is because this is like early and it's not really changed much. So this is a compact canyon. A tiny canyon containing all your structures. Yeah, I reckon that's going to be pretty hard. That's going to be like, how do you fit everything in? Uh, this one here is Island Hopper. Connect many tracks between these tiny tropical islands. So I'm not going to do any of that i'm gonna uh i'm gonna have a go at one of the easier ones which i think will be easier so so there's a giant asteroid thing that sounds pretty interesting let's do this and i'm gonna put in shirley rocks if i can remember how to type it why on earth did i choose that stupid name now we've got starter mode on and off so starter mode provides you with the basics pre-built but we're gonna do do it off and i'm gonna show you what you need to do from the start so hopefully it'll give you a bit of a guide to how to start up and run the game the field has giant asteroids slammed into it over thousands of years, each depositing valuable ores into the ground. So the goal is 30,000 kilogram. This is uh, like an output production level that it wants me to try and produce. It's in one of these here. So you can see here, I'm currently producing zero. And hopefully I can produce many. Right, so controls, this is standard um, mouse. So hold down the middle mouse button, you can zoom around. Uh, zoom in on the scroll wheel and you can do that. That's a different resource there. I believe that's iron. This is coal. And I need to get stuff from point A to point B. So point A is where the trucks come in, which are, let me find the selection for it. So you've got a uh, road entry. So this is where they magically come in from underneath, uh, yeah, my underground base or something, wherever they come from. So we'll come out of the the mountain over here, and then we'll come round here. Will that work? Process stuff, and then leave via this exit here. Okay, don't know if this is going to work, but this is part of the fun of the game. Right, so now we need to do... We need to come out of the tunnel, so... We've got to come from down there to around here. And we also need to get some basic building stuff made. So we need to mine with these things. These are what we're going to mine with. These are our mining rigs. But we can't build at the moment because we need to put some power down. We need, uh, we need a drone bay and we need power. So I'm just going to, I'm going to try and put the road down first and see if we can build around it. So I want to try and get the power put down now. So. Let's get some power put down. So we need a power station. And then we need power lines. So I'm going to put the power over here. So it's a little bit out of the way. And then we can do power lines. Now these have a snap to range. So let us put one there. One there. Okay. Now we're going to put a uh, mining rig down. Won't oh, let me build. Drone bay provides wireless computation for four drones. Let's try and do this around here then. Now we're going to try and build a power thing. Well, a drone thing. Will not let me put me on these. Let's see, can we build on the other ones down here? So I can snap two for these. Oh, you know what this is? I don't think that is coal. That's going to be a, a different type of resource. Okay, so <laughs> straight away, we failed. So uh, we're going to go and start off at the other area. Okay, and we're back. It's like, it's like that was just a dream and that never really happened. And I'm, I'm, I'm almost like I'm going to edit it all down so that you don't see all that. So, right, so we've got our coal mines mining over here. So we need to get the stuff from out of that and into these 
away in a minute. That is, look at that, look at the state of that road. How is that even joined? Answer, it's not. Okay, let's try a different type of road then. Can we do it on that bit? You can do bendy road. We might have to do a bit of bendy road. So we'll have to delete that piece there. Stick that back in. There we go. It is formed. Right, so how do you get stuff out of there? Right, so we need um, an output from here. And we need to stick it in crates and then get it over here. So we need uh, we need drones and we need stuff to collect it all. So you can either take stuff via the road or via rail. So at the start, we're just going to take this stuff out of here via these, which are... What do they actually call these? Crate makers. So these connect up here, but we need to, yeah, you need to connect them. You can't put them quite like that. You need to put like a, a transportation uh, bit between them. So let's have a look. So we've got these uh, different things in here. We've got transfer tubes. We've got uh, another tube. Transfer resources from one structure's ground port into another structure. But I think it's these ones we need. So, these are quite long. These are quite... Actually, one of these ones should work. So, if we stick that on there, and then we stick a crate make, crate maker on this. So, the idea is that the iron ore comes from that, goes into this, and you can click on that. You can see I'm actually making crates now, one per three seconds, and then it'll spit the crates out. So, where do we spit the crates out to? Good question. Glad you asked. Right, so we've got an unload station here. So if we stick one of these on this, we can then run the wire over here. And then how do we get rid of this stuff? Well, we get a road pit stop. And then we realise we've built the power lines in the wrong place. We should start seeing trucks coming through now. Okay, so the trucks are going to come here, and then they're going to be like, Hey, I really want some ore. So you need to get the ore from there to there. So how do you do that? Right, well, you do this. You build a drone bay. Put it next to the power station there. And then we'll add a couple of drones. So the drones... Okay, I've got no money. Okay, so now we need to click on this, turn it on, stick it on high priority so that they'll actually go and start unloading onto the truck. Okay, I have literally no money at the moment, so... It's 4,000 to get another one. So we need to get some of this stuff sold before we can actually progress any further. So that's how you, that's how you set up a basic um, production line. You need the power, you need the drones, then you need the power pylons. You need some way of getting the coal out, putting, some, putting the coal into a, um, a crate, and then from the crate to the truck. Now, you should see this now. This is going to come all the way over here see nice cash cash money we've got seven grand for that seven grand the full truck that's pretty nice so yeah let's uh set this up a little bit more and be right back okay so slight little addition to the thing so we've got the second mine up and running now now the interesting thing with this is that we've got um this is on high priority so they'll always get the crates from this first and then this second one is low priority now you might think well these crates are pretty terrible for building because they are the really um the, it's a straight line that's all you can do so you can get bendy lines later on but not right now so right now i'm just building these as close as i can to this because then we can uh we can actually move it on further now you might notice that I've just added that to that, and you're like, well, why is that like that? And that's because it's a cool to do the colour, so that's what currently sets it off. So that's actually classed as a separate piece of track there now. So what you can do is, if you don't want is it a separate piece of track, so I know that one bit there on the end is still classed as separate. If you click space on something, you clone it. So hopefully this should now make this part of the same thing. And makes but stuff building a lot easier okay so now we've got enough coal output to be getting these two trucks loaded up at a time so hopefully money's going to be coming in and we're going to be able to um get some more stuff built on here now the thing with coal is it's worth a different uh, amount so this is actually coal ore 
which is 1093 a crate whereas this is in more in demand the uh where is it here this is 1600 so that's roughly well it's not it's not quite double but it's better if we process it so if we can turn the coal ore into coal then we can get more money so i'm going to set that up and talk about it okay so the next little upgrade to show you is it's not trains it's mine carts so what this beast of a building is this is the uh, research lab which uh, shows you here generates research points while being which can then be spent on the upgrades menu to improve stuff now the way i've got this working is we've got the mines are outputting to these things which are transfer tubes now these deposit out so these are dumping out onto the, these uh, little trucks when they pass underneath them i've got two there and then they're coming over here and these are sucking it up so these can only hold a certain amount of stuff so as you can see once that goes down there that'll go down to seven and now when the truck comes round again it's going to suck some stuff up in a minute when it gets a little bit of space and then it'll carry on researching and then we can use the research points in here to research diff actually in here so we need 20,000 re research points to unlock the first thing which is a refiner so if we come back in here as you can see we've, we've currently got 9,000 points there we go it's sucking it up so i reckon we could improve this further it seems to be these on we don't really need to have two of these feeding into this at the moment i mean we could do double research okay i said i wasn't going to do it and i did it i've got two research things here now so hopefully we are going to be researching twice as quick now one thing to, to notice if you do do it like this when you destroy the building you lost you lose all the research points so that's something to bear in mind if you are thinking of doing it but hopefully i can catch back up with my research points really quick because uh, i've got two going so i've got two thousand there and i've got two thousand there be interesting to see if they stack so if we go into here does it tell me how many points i've got at the moment don't think it actually tells me you can click i think you can claim them let me see can i claim these yet no i think we need to uh wait for it to fill up um it can be spent on the upgrades menu to improve various colony capabilities or unlock new structures so we are hoping to unlock that one so be right back okay so i've got my research points set out now so i've got both of these filled up with research points that one's got forty nine thousand points that one's got 21. now if you look in this menu here you see i need twenty thousand to unlock the refiner so that's what we're going to go ahead and undo so let's claim this one so now we've got forty nine thousand xp nice and if we unlock this one now we've got seventy one thousand. so that means we can go in here and unlock this so this unlocks the refiner stroke factory so with this we can turn the coal ore into coal and hopefully get some more money for it so we're going to go ahead and unlock that and then we can go further down the tree the next one unlock is five hundred thousand, which is unlocking remote connectors so this uh, is used for remotely connect to a container from a potentially distant location now that sounds interesting is that like a teleportation device and the next thing also we've got is the unlock step conveyor so evenly and efficiently allocate crates between factory based machines now we're going to need that so we're just going to go ahead and get that straight away and then i'm going to go and set up my factory hopefully okay so i've upgraded the base a little bit now so as you can see here we've got the two research things fully ready to collect now so let's go and collect these now one thing that's worth talking about is loading with the carts so if you notice here we've got the one um mining rig which is filling these up now this this will come around here and unload in these but as you notice there it only hit that first cart and that's because of the length of the track so if you want to fully have it loaded up you need to do the amount of tracks pass so carts pass so i know there's two extra carts on this if i stick this an extra two lengths watch this now might need one more now when this comes back around hopefully this now is going to be able to load the other carts so there you go so that's, that's worth bearing in mind if you're wondering why your carts are going around with only like one thing in them 
So they're fully up, fully researching. I've added another drone controller, so we've got up to 10 drones now. Now, let's take a little look inside the factory. Now, this isn't ideal. Um, now, the trouble with the factories is once you actually place them, you can't um, jiggle them around or reposition them, so you have to sort of guess of how far you want them to go. Now, carts for... The, well, the, the railroad carts can come in and out of the factory. Now, strangely enough, the load stations can't come out, out of here. So if, if I click outside of here, let me just come out of here. So if you try and place a load sta station or anything like that, you can't come outside. In order to transport the coal, you need to put it in a crate. So the way I'm doing it at the moment is we've just got load stations on here, dumping out all our uh, resources here. We've got a giant hopper here. Uh, giant storage full of coal that can take 120 and then I've got my cart running around the tracks up here Which is just filling it up um, We could actually improve this a little bit more and finally we come to the end of What I'm going to show you in this video. So I've set up um, an automated empire Oh, do you like it? Oh, well an automation empire. So we um, I decided to get rid of the the track over here so now we've got this uh this train here which i believe it's four uh contents is one cart on here it's, i think it says tells you on some tooltip what they can actually contain um yeah each cart can hold four crates worth of resources so we've got these pumping out resources so when this comes back round this has got one so that's not going to stop at that one it's got two for this one. There you go. So I think, was that right? Each cart can hold four crates worth. So they must be crates worth. So that's two there. We've got one here. Yeah, so it's only when it gets slightly full. Right, so we've got that coming in here, dropping into the hopper. And then we've got crates connected to this. So these are spitting out crates into the uh, refiners. And then that's pro get out uh, coal here. And then we've got the automated system here. So we've got these claw train track system set up here. We've got three uh, of these claw trains on here. And what they used to do is they come along here, pick up the, the processed coal. There you go. I could do to actually extend that a little bit, that one. Let's see if we can uh, just cheekily extend that a little bit, make it a little bit longer so we can fit more on it. Can't quite get that last bit there. I don't think my factory's quite big enough. See, that's not going to fit that last one. But anyway, they come along here. They drop off whatever coal they've managed to uh, grab. There you go. No one's got one that time. And then my army of drones will come along here. And they'll pick up this processed coal. And they will load it onto a truck. There's no truck there at the moment. But there is a bit of a system going on here as well. So we've got another system here. I'm going to come all the way down here though. So this is the iron ore mine. So we've got the uh, the train is just going round, collecting the stuff. We seem to be doing a better rate of collecting it here than up north. So maybe it's a, be it's a better way of building it like this. So this is going to keep going round and it's going to keep filling the hopper up. And then the hopper is simply connected. Well, the... the um, the container is connected to a single output, which is grabbing uh, the raw ore here. It's putting it into crates here. The claw is then taking it inside the factory. And then I've set up a little conveyor belt in here. So we've got, I've only set up one refiner here because I just wanted to get one up and running quickly to show you and to show you a few of the different things. So this one here is this little section here, transfer claw. This transfers from one stepper to another. So if you watch this, so there you go. And then we've got some claws coming along here. And these are grabbing the processed iron. Taking it outside. Dumping it on there. And then I've got my little uh, robots here who are grabbing the, uh, the ore. And uh, yeah, that's how we're making money, so. We've got our research going on as well still. 
I've got 400,000 uh, research points. Nice. So we're going to see the uh, iron ore truck's going to go now. So we've only got the two trucks going at the moment. But we're just selling the more expensive stuff now. Now, I think a more efficient factory is probably one like this, where you've got multiple uh, refiners. Whereas I've only got the one refiner. And also, this is, this is not really working that well, because... We've not got the, um, we've only got one claw picking up. We need to figure out a way of picking up multiple, multiple stuff at the time as well. Oh yeah, and we've got the train as well. Uh, over here. This is just my research train that's connected to one mine. So yeah, that's how you set up the different things. Hopefully you found some of that useful. Uh, if you've got any tips of setting these little layouts yourself, let me know. Anyway, that's it for now. I'm Shirley Rocks. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.